Hi guys, I am doing a video. I know some of you are probably sick of seeing my V-bag. Um, but as I've mentioned, I am going to be traveling to see my parents and I thought I would take it on a test run. Um, going to and from there, I will be taking this bag and I'm not going to be checking a bag. I am just going to bring a rolling suitcase, which this actually fits nicely over. I left that suitcase in my room because I just didn't want to deal with it to bring it out here. Um, my poor son keeps getting anxiety seeing the packed bags. So this will also kind of be a test run when I go to Minneapolis for the meetup. He knows that there's still going to be the routine and he knows who will be taking care of him when mom's gone and such. But he's just, he's very anxious about mom being gone. Like... I'm constantly getting, so you're leaving this day? Yes. Okay. You'll be home this day? Yes. But when will I see you? And I'm like, well, you won't, you'll see me on this day. And then he was upset because the day that I'm leaving, I will drop him off, or both of my kids off at school, but I won't be picking them up. And he's upset about that. And he's like, but mom, I need extra loves that day because... I won't be getting loves from you for a while. I'm like, okay, that's fine. We can give extra loves at bedtime the night before too. He's like, oh, okay. Well, will you call me? And I'm like, yes, I can call you. So anyways, getting to the bag. I, like I said, I kind of am doing a practice run with the, the bag. Um, seeing what I can get into it and such. First, in the front pocket, I'm not really going to pull out what's in there. Those are uh, feminine care products. This pocket, I don't really have anything in right now, and I do not know why this is still in here. <laughs> so the bib in there. Um, there's a Facebook page that I'm part of, and they have, it's called the Traveling Kermit. And it's just this little Kermit, the frog. Um, and I purchased one, so he will be going with me. They had, um, on the, the page that I'm on, the person that started it bought like four of them and sent them to different people and then she said if you want to buy one yourself and just keep it with you to travel when you travel that's fine if you want to pass them on that's fine so right now he's gonna go with this to this trip with me and um, he'll be going on this trip with me as well as like when I go to the meetup, and then there's a few other like day trips that we're planning this summer, so he'll be coming with them. Um, I left the wipes in here. I looked up on the FA or on the Federal Airline website. The wipes are okay to have, so I just left those there. There's nothing in this pocket. I'll probably be putting a water bottle in there. Um, first off, as I packed some, I went and bought some toiletries and they're in the quart ziploc bag and I still have room to probably repack this better and my inhaler doesn't even need to be in there just threw it in there and I just realized I bought something that I didn't really need because I already had it in this bag and like there's things like the medicines that don't need to be in this bag but they are in this bag that's just so I know where they're at um there's two gizmo pal watches we use AT&T for our phones and my parents have Verizon and my we've been wanting to get our kids the gizmo watches. We found these ones on Facebook for a really good price. I know these are the older one. There's a newer version. They don't really need the newer version right now. So for the price that we got these, we figured we could start them out, see how it goes, and then maybe upgrade. But I'm going to bring them with to see if my mom and I can go get them activated. And then we'll just pay my mom. It's $5 a month for each one, so we'll just pay my mom that. Um, and then I got some more medicine for my stomach. And then since I will be going where it's freezing cold, I've got my mittens. And like I said, the other bag has my winter coat. I have got my hat. I have got my laptop. And then I've got one two shirts. I know I could put these in my other bag, but I'm just keeping them in here because it kind of stabilizes the bag when the laptop is in. And then I've got my pajama pants, once again, because it kind of stabilizes the bag. And then I've got the mouse and the 
um, uh, plug-in for my laptop. So I have to think of the word. Um, and then I thought I packed it in there. Where did I put it? I also grabbed my extra batteries. Did I shove them in here or not? Um, I will be bringing my camera with. I don't know if I'll be vlogging any of this. Um, I may, so when I get back, there may not be as many, um, of my doll. Part of my doll channel, more of, like, the vlog and stuff like that. Or the My Reality instead of Dolly Dreams. And then I also need to shove in my medication. But... The, I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. I don't, I know that we have plans when I'm there. My mom has plans, different plans for me when I'm there. Aside from um, my father's surgery. And, I mean, look at guys. This bag still has tons of room left. Like, this, this is like a wonder bag. If I wanted to put more in there, I could. Um, and then, I also have my EpiPen. That I hadn't shoved in there quite yet. But, what did I do with those? I know I have, I have two extra batteries for this camera that I was going to bring. I don't, I need a new, another camera card. But... And then the battery charger. And then in the back, I don't have anything back here yet. I probably, while I'm going through the airport, put like my wallet and stuff in there. And then my boarding passes so I don't lose them. But yeah, that is my the bag. And like you know, the laptop is obviously right here. The only thing, if I could change one thing, is that pocket that the laptop fits nicely in. I would seriously flop it and put it in the back just for weight distribution. Um, so the weight would be all at the back instead of in the front. But other than that, this bag is absolutely wonderful. Um, I just need to throw in my Ziploc bag with my medications, and that'll just go on on the top. Then I also wanted to show this quick haul oh, I have. I decided, you know, I do like my um, cat in the hat theme nursery. I just, I bought it on a whim um, before we moved. And once we got here, I'm like, oh, I'm going to use that because it's so cute. And I don't know, just looking at that with the crib, it's just too much of a contrast. Or not contrast. It's too much black for me. And it's driving me nuts, so I need to get rid of it. So I'm like, what do I want instead? And I've been wanting bees for obvious reasons. Um, and I found these on swap.com. And I think I found a blanket that I want to get later on, like a crib blanket. But for now, I got these really cute crib sheets that have this bumblebee print. And it's a really cute bumblebee. And even though the stripe is brown, I think it'll look... Because in the pictures, it actually looked black. But it'll look more... It'll look darker on the crib. I can't remember the brand of these. Obviously, these are muslin um, sheets. They are made by your econ family. Global Organic Textiles Standards. So these are organic cotton, and there's two of them. So I will probably, I will be changing that over. I need to find, um, like I'll probably be making a crib mobile. I only found one crib mobile on Amazon that had bees on it, and I wasn't wowed by it. So I will probably be making one, like just get one of those plastic, like, stick things with the little turny part that has the sticks that come out you can find blank ones like that and then just like 
attached stuffed animals. So I was thinking of getting some little stuffed animals to attach to it. If not, I do have another crib mobile. Um, my husband's a huge Texas A&M fan. And we do have a Texas A&M mobile from when my son was a baby. So might use that too. So I hope everybody enjoyed this quick, like teeny tiny haul and packing of my wonderful bag. I cannot wait to use it. This will be a dry run for when I go to Minneapolis since I'm almost contemplated just not checking a bag when we go to Minneapolis and using that suitcase that I'll be using on this trip and this bag. Um, I know I can fit every, like I can fit all the real care stuff in this bag with the laptop then I can use my bag since right now the rolling suitcase has a few pair of pants, a few pair or quite a few shirts, a bunch of socks, some underpants. And the biggest chunk in that bag is my winter coat. And going up to Minneapolis this summer, I might just need one pair of jeans. Um, it'll only be like a quick four day trip. So I think it was four days. I have to think about it. It'll be four nights. It'll be, we'll be there five days, four nights. So I really honestly will probably only need to bring like one pair of shorts or capris, the shorts that I have on, and then a pair of pants in case it gets cold, which I doubt it. But, and then uh, enough shirts, which would be four shirts for myself. Like, so, and then like my pajamas, which I'll probably have pajama, the pajamas in here just so to keep on the bottom of the bag like now and then um i don't plan on buying much when we're there i don't i have stuff to bring that if a bunch of other people are going to come we're going to do a gift exchange if not if it's just crystal and i um there's some stuff that i was going to bring to give to her so we'll see how everything fits together um i don't like i said i don't plan on buying a huge amount of stuff and even my husband and I were talking about it. He's like, even if you buy more than what fits in your bag, he goes, really, uh, if you guys can get to a place where you can ship them home, he goes, it would probably be cheaper just to ship it home than to check a bag. And he goes, because you're going to be paying $50 round trip to check a bag there and a bag back. It's $25 um, each way. And he goes... And if you ship something back, it's going to be less than $50. So I'm really thinking about that. But I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you already have it. And I will see everyone later. Bye.